Today we're unboxing the RavPower 61 watt 2 port USB-C charger. This is model RPPC105 and it supports PD 3.0. It has two USB ports, one is type A and one is type C. We purchased this unit at full retail price from Amazon, see the link in the description below. RavPower had no opportunity to review the contents of this video. So let's get started. We have a pretty compact box here. Stay powered. And your basic plastic wrapping. Here we have a small booklet. Super C 61 watt charger. Some information about the package contents specs and different languages then here we have the charger itself this one's in black and at various points it's also been available in a white color so it's fairly compact this is the US model with a foldable two pin power plug and here you can see the USB-C PD port and the USB-A port. Now the USB-A port can output a maximum of 5 volts at 2.4 amps or 12 watts. This is the fastest you'll get over USB-A without proprietary fast charging technologies like Qualcomm Quick Charge, which this charger does not support. The USB-C port can output 60 watts over Power Delivery 3.0. As shown in the manual here, the power delivery profile supported our 5 volts at 3 amps for 15 watts, 9 volts at 3 amps for 27 watts, 12 volts, 3 amps for 36 watts, 15 volts, 3 amps for 45 watts, 20 volts at 3 amps for 60 watts. Uh, there's also a 20.3 volts profile shown, which is where the 61 watt number comes from, uh, but in essence you're looking at 60 watts uh, peak capacity here. Now this charger does not have PPS which allows a USB-C device to negotiate charging voltage levels in between each of these set levels. In practice that means this will not fast charge a Samsung device like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus or the 20 Ultra at their highest 45 watt charging level. However most USB-C devices like laptops and other phones should be fine. One note here is that if you plug devices into both the USB-C and A ports together, the USB-C port will be capped at 45 watts instead of 60 watts or 61 watts, while the USB-A port will continue to provide the maximum 12 watt output that it supports. The RAV power charger's form factor leaves enough space for a second device to be plugged in in a standard North American duplex socket. The charger has a blue LED that remains lit at all times, regardless of whether any USB devices are plugged in, but fortunately it's quite dim and should not present a problem even in dark contexts. We connected a QA U2 power monitor first to the charger's USB-C port. Here we see USB power delivery 3.0 support with all the standard profiles, 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20 volts for up to 60 watts as advertised. There's also a 20.3 volts profile for the extra 0.9 watts, presumably just to mirror Apple's marketing of its 61 watt MacBook Pro charger. This port also supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 at 5, 9, or 12 volts, as well as a few manufacturer specific proprietary charging protocols. We tested with a 15 inch Microsoft Surface Book 2 and were able to draw the full 60 watts. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the peak charging rate was 15 watts, as that phone requires PPS support for its higher 25 or 45 watt charging modes. Moving on to the charger's USB-A port, here we see support for Apple's 5 volt 2.4 amp mode for 12 watt charging on iPhones and iPads, but there's no support for any other manufacturer's proprietary charging standard, nor is there Qualcomm quick charge support, so most non-Apple devices will be capped at 5 volts 1.5 amps for 7.5 watt charging. 
Overall, the RAV Power Charger provides good value at its $25 to $30 price point, and while it's not the very smallest charger on the market, it's still fairly compact. We'd recommend charging your primary device, a laptop or USB-C smartphone, via the USB-C port for the fastest charging, and either a secondary device or an Apple device via the USB-A port. To purchase this, see the Amazon link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and post any comments or questions below. Also, visit our site at techautos.com for more content.